The Starliner saga continues, and I have to tell you about a new report talking about Boeing considering selling its space business, including Starliner. If you've watched my past videos on this subject, you'll know that the two test pilot astronauts, Butch and Sonny, are still up at the ISS after Starliner returned home uncrewed, and they will not return home until February of 2025. The Boeing Starliner spacecraft has had a a pretty rough history. In fact, it was supposed to be switching off ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS with Crew Dragon, but obviously that isn't how the past 10 years have played out. Now, after sending the Starliner capsule home without crew, Boeing is making some big decisions and it might sell off the space part of their business, including the Starliner program. This will result in large financial losses for the company, but hey, you gotta know when to call it quits. According to the Wall Street Journal, these discussions are said to be at an early stage. And these are not exactly surprising. These talks come less than two months after Starliner completed its first astronaut test flight on September 6th by touching down in New Mexico without Butch and Sonny. Boeing and NASA have worked hand in hand for decades. And Boeing was the prime contractor for the International Space Station. But Boeing is losing a lot of money on the Starliner program. This year, they have also suffered a strike by their largest labor union. You might remember that in August, Boeing also got a new CEO who was already making changes. Apparently, it's the new CEO Kelly Ortberg's idea to sell the company's space business. But really, the question is, who would want to buy the Starliner program? It's unclear how much of the business may be sold and if it will even sell at all. But it's better than Boeing continuing to lose money. In a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission on October 23rd, Boeing reported a $250 million charge in the third quarter of its fiscal year, primarily to reflect scheduled delays and higher testing and certification costs for Starliner. Boeing's second quarter results showed an additional $125 million loss on the program. According to Boeing's Q3 results, the spacecraft is a small part of Boeing's defense, space, and security business, which reported $3.1 billion in losses in the first nine months of 2024. And I don't know about you guys, but I would not want to be the new Boeing president and CEO, but we're learning more about Kelly Ortberg and how he plans to save that sinking ship. He recently said, quote, it will take time to return Boeing to its former legacy, but with the right focus and culture, we can be an iconic company and aerospace leader once again. We will be focused on fundamentally changing the culture, stabilizing the business, and improving program execution while setting the foundation for the future of Boeing. And considering the fact that SpaceX will have to rescue Butch and Sonny with the Crew Dragon, it's about time we hear a little bit more from Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX. He shared on X, the new Boeing CEO spends time in the factory and understands engineering, which are big improvements. Hopefully, he turns around a once great company. I say this because I haven't seen Elon Musk comment on the Starliner situation all that much, but I'm glad to see that he is cheering Boeing along and, geez, Kelly has a tough job ahead of him. Alex on X wrote a great description of this. Apparently, Kelly wants to do less and do it better. He wants to focus Boeing's resources on commercial aircraft and defense divisions, and he expects to decide which units are to be divested by the year end. What's crazy, too, about the Starliner program, not only does it have over a billion dollars in cost overruns, delays, and losses... But NASA awarded Boeing nearly twice as much funding as it did to SpaceX in 2014 for SpaceX's Crew Dragon, and Boeing is still trying to resolve those issues experienced during Starliner's test flight, and obviously Crew Dragon is like the only option we have right now for an orbital Uber. So Boeing got even more money and like still couldn't figure it out. I mean, seriously, the numbers speak for themselves. The SpaceX Crew Dragon has made 43 visits to the ISS since 2019, carrying both crew and cargo for NASA. And listen to this quote from Chad Anderson, the managing partner of Space Capital. Quote, Boeing was supposed to be the sure bet. If they walk away, it's a sad thing for America, for competition, and for access to space. 
But one thing I think people forget is that the Starliner will be obsolete in not that much time. As we know, the ISS is set to retire and be deorbited with the help of SpaceX. Starliner is only made for missions to and from the ISS and to dock to the ISS. So the way I see it, they'll be lucky if they get a few cargo missions, probably not happening until next year, maybe until 2026, and then who knows. It's interesting, I interviewed a former SpaceX employee recently, and that video is coming soon, but she worked on the Crew Dragon, and I asked her if when she started as an intern in 2013, if she could have imagined that Crew Dragon would be what it is today, and that also Starliner would be what it is not today. Oh, not to pick on them, but you started around the same time that Boeing, Starliner, Mm -hmm. and SpaceX Crew Dragon, they were supposed to originally flip-flop. And (laughs) could you have predicted this? It did not. If you had asked me back then, I would have said that we we were going to come sliding into home and maybe beat them by the skin of our teeth, but we were going to be sliding in. I'm honestly shocked that we're in this situation. Yeah. And I, and I really hope, I really fervently hope, even though I'm a SpaceX impl- X, or I fervently hope Boeing figures it out because competition breeds innovation and we need both people, both companies up there. So that video is coming out very soon, but I just wanted to give you this quick update about Boeing because many of you guys are very invested in what happened with Starliner and, of course, Butch and Sonny, who are still up at the ISS. And by the way, the SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon spacecraft that Butch and Sonny will be coming home in will be moved to a different docking port Sunday, November 3rd. NASA astronauts will undock the spacecraft from the forward-facing port of the station's Harmony module at 6.35 a.m. and redock to the module's space-facing port at 7.18 a.m. And they're doing this in preparation for the arrival of NASA's SpaceX's 31st Commercial Resupply Services mission. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it would be really cool if I could maybe get an interview with Kelly Ortberg, although he probably needs a little bit more time on the job to really talk about what they're going to do to change things. But it's been great to hear that he's inspired. He thinks that they can turn things around for Boeing, which at the end of the day, I really hope that they can. Thanks for supporting Ellie in Space and I'll see you in the next video. And just a quick mention for you, so many of you loved my Mechazilla t-shirt design, but we decided to add a little special touch of the flame on the end of the booster being caught by the chopstick arm. So these new edition shirts are available. You can order them until November 18th. So I will leave a link for the new store in the description. And I hope that you love this new design. I think that it is so awesome and really celebrates the amazing uh catch that we saw of the booster with SpaceX. I'm I'm still in disbelief that it happened and I'm so excited to see the next one in person. So if you've already ordered a shirt to support my channel, thank you so much. But if you were hoping to get an opportunity and missed it on the last uh, store run that we did, here is your chance. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.